Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Season 2 of Lila Solo. So when we last left off, we were... We were trying to get the uh, Skelly Spawner set up. Now, let's see. Hold on just a minute. Alright, so we were trying to get that all set up, and uh, I did not succeed at that, so um, I ended up getting kind of sick, and then the holidays hit, and, and then being out all day on Thanksgiving Day, it was like super, super cold and rainy, and, and then I got, it just set my cold back a lot further, I started running fevers, and was coughing all the time, and just really tired so I slept a lot and uh, I'm starting to feel a little bit better um, I'm definitely not running the fevers anymore which is good so um, so that's why you didn't get any videos on Friday <laughs> because I just I was not feeling good at all so but anyways I don't know what we're gonna do now since we don't have the ske the skelly spawner all set up but uh, you know, it is getting closer to uh, Christmas, and we've got to get this Christmas tree put up somehow. So, what I need to do is, we need to grow some spruce trees. I don't know if I have any saplings of those yet. Let's go take a look, because we're going to need um, the leaves off of the, uh, the spruce trees. And I will have to do a lot of that off camera as well so um if i can come down here and see if we have any spruce trees available i can't remember if we do or not to be honest um i'm pretty sure there we go oh yay i do have some sweet so we can go ahead and get these um planted because we're gonna need a lot of these do i have any bones that would be in mop drops. Ah, I have some. So, okay, let's take those. It takes so much bone meal now to do this kind of stuff. So, I guess what we're going to be doing this week um, is probably collecting some spruce tree leaves with our shears. I'm not sure how big of a tree I want to make. Probably not nothing huge. Um, but we can definitely get a tree up and going for sure. Yeah, we'll just get a couple of these planted and we'll just kind of go from there. But yeah, I'm starting to feel a little bit better. Um, I'm not completely back to normal yet, but it's getting there. And now that I'm talking, I'm starting to get a bit of a cough. So if I cough, I apologize. <laughs> so, all right. Well, let's break these down into... Um, oh, we can put some up here as well. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and grow some of these. I don't think I have a axe on me. We should really uh, try to enchant an axe at some point. Um, because a diamond axe would be kind of cool. All right, so I stayed up really late um, this morning, which, you know, I do that a lot. I have this thing, I don't know, I don't sleep very good. I don't know why that's not growing. Is it because it's in the way? I think it is, huh? 
Or maybe it's just being stubborn. There we go. Can you, can you grow? No, I don't think you're going to grow, so I'll just cut you down. Okay, uh, so I was up this morning, and I, for the second time, no, third time, sorry, my bad. Third time, I felt an earthquake. And I know, like, some of you may be, like, you know, around that a lot, maybe, depending on where you're from, I guess. And, and maybe you're not, but uh, around here, it's not that often. Uh, actually, in the last couple of years, it's started becoming more of a thing in our areas. But uh, this is the third time I'd actually felt one, and it was kind of funny. I was sitting there watching TV and uh, kind of dozing off a little bit, started getting tired, and uh, I just felt the floor underneath me, like, do a little wave. So I was like, what? <laughs> and the only time I've ever felt that before was in another earthquake. Um, uh, I think it was about a year maybe a year, maybe a year and a half, maybe, it's been that long, um, it was much stronger, um, and the floor was waving, and the walls were shaking, the windows were rattling, and, uh, and that, like, everything in the kitchen was rattling, so, like, uh, it didn't get that bad last night, but I definitely felt the floor wave. So I was like, whoa. <laughs> so interesting. I don't know how people do it. People that live in California or like this is like an everyday thing for them. I don't know. I don't know how they do it. It's just freaky. Like, I like to be warned when something bad is about to happen. And, uh, you know, kind of give a chance to feel like you can try to survive for whatever is coming your way. Like, tornadoes, yeah, they're scary. Um, but you kind of have an idea. Anymore with today's technology, they can give you several weeks in advance, you know, to kind of prepare that potential tornadic weather could be in your area. And, uh... And then, of course, on the day when stuff hits the fan, you know, there's no way of really telling where it's going to hit and how strong it's going to be and stuff like that. I mean, you literally have, like, you know, just a couple of minutes sometimes to get to safety. But it's still a warning. <laughs> and you've been told for two weeks now that it could potentially get this way. So, you know, if you're a hardcore survivalist, you tend to have a bag ready to go for an emergency in case you get, you know, stranded somewhere if the building was to collapse or something. But in an earthquake, you don't have that kind of warning. It just is like, ta-da, I'm here. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of freaky, but, uh, I'm, I'm still not getting used to that. And, uh, and I realize that because of certain events in our lives, uh, it could very well be a potential thing that we experience a lot more than what we ever used to. That is for sure. Yeah, so it'll be interesting to see how all this pans out. But, uh, I don't know. I just thought it was kind of neat. Kind of neat. Um, definitely a little unexpected. And, you know, because I've dealt with it before, I knew immediately what was already going on. So, um, I, I just kind of kept the time in my head a little bit. And I was like, if I see something on the news about it when I wake up tomorrow, then I'll know that's exactly what I felt. And sure enough, I uh, checked the news and they were like, did you feel it? And I was like, yeah, I did. So um, I was definitely not dreaming. I definitely felt it. So, anyway, it's just a little interesting information, I guess. <laughs> Alright, I think we... No, I did not do that! Oh my gosh, I got the talking! Oh my gosh, I did not do that. No, I did not do that! 
Oh my gosh, you guys are probably face palming. I got so into that story, I wanted the leaves. I didn't want the wood. I'm so used to getting the wood. Not the leaves. Ugh. Oh gosh. Now we gotta go down there and do this all over again. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is why I should not get into important topics. Well, I mean, it could have been important. Jeez, you know, it could have caused structural damage. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. Well, now I feel kind of special. All right. So, all right. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna make this right somehow. We're gonna replant. We're gonna regroup. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. Whoa, that was a spike. But yeah, so anyways, that was the uh, my great morning experience already. I haven't had time to tell my husband about that yet, so uh, when he gets home, I will have to tell him about that. I don't think in the three that I felt... He hasn't been home when it's happened. Um, so, like, I don't think he's actually experienced one yet. Um, and like I said, it's not a normal thing that happens here, but in the last couple of years, it's starting to become, you know, pretty often. I mean, not as often as California by any means, but um, it's definitely a... Uh, it's definitely not a surprise anymore, I'll say that. So, uh, so, yeah. Alright, we're going to try and regrow these again, and I'm going to try not to get distracted. So that way we can actually share these leaves, because we need the leaves. Did I put you too close to the building? Surely not. Okay, there we go. We were just being a little stubborn. Because after these are all gone, I'm not going to have any more until I get that skelly spawner up and going. So, even more reason for me not to mess this up again. Right? Right. I don't think that was going to grow. That's the bad thing about living in the flower biome is uh, some of this stuff prevents you. Alright, I think I have a pair of shears up here, maybe. Yep. But anyway, um, so Thanksgiving has came and gone, and I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving, and hope your bellies got full, and had a good time with your family and stuff. I had a pretty good time with mine. I went to two dinners, because all our families live in the same town, so... Uh, so it's easier to, you know, make it to dinners for the holidays because you don't have to worry about traveling and stuff like that. So, um, makes things so much easier. Well, I say that, but it can also be kind of a hassle too because, like, like our family's dinners sometimes start within like 20 minutes to an hour apart. And that's just not enough time because, you know, you have to, uh, it's just not enough time, you know, because by the time you eat, then you want to visit with people and there's just not enough time, you know? And so then you get to the other dinner, like, way late, everybody's already ate, and you just, you're like, I'm here, this is awkward. Everybody's already ate, and they, like, want you to eat more. And it's like, oh, I don't know if I can. But then you see food that either you didn't have at one dinner, or is maybe prepared more, a little more to your liking. And, uh, it's just like, oh, what am I going to do with, what am I going to do, what am I going to do? So it's kind of always awkward sometimes, too, so... I don't know, it has advantages and disadvantages of everyone being in the same town and 
trying to get stuff done for the holidays. I'm going to have to leave those there. But anyways, that's all the time we have for today, guys. Um, like I said, I really want to get this tree up for you guys soon. So we're going to have to do some of this on camera, unfortunately. Um, so this week is probably going to be a lot of collecting resources for the tree. So hopefully, hopefully that's alright with you guys. But anyways, thank you all so very much for watching and thank you all so very much for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed already yet today, you totally should. And don't forget to favorite, comment, like, and share these videos as well. Take care and have a wonderful day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!